everybody this is 22 tiger dude and i'm here to do a video game review for the spongebob video game plankton's robotic revenge on the ps3 so the plot for Plankton's Robotic Revenge is about when Plankton has his robotic army to no surprise in order to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. So the gang, they have to fight his army of robots to find the three keys before Plankton does to get the Krabby Patty secret formula. So now that I've played Plankton's Robotic Revenge, it is the worst SpongeBob game I played. Remember how a little game called Atlantis Square Pantas was my least favorite Spongebob game? Well, not anymore. It's now Plankton's Robotic Revenge. A fucking excuse of a video game. Fuck you creators. What the fuck did you give me right here? This is the laziest game in the Spongebob video game franchise, definitely. At least Atlantis Square Pantis, still, while not a very good game, had some effort going into it. This game, I felt, has little to no effort into it. Now, before I go more into this game, let me start off with the good things about it. By far, the graphics. Holy crap, the graphics in this game look beautiful the locations to shoot the robotic army looks beautiful it's sad how there's more effort put into the graphics than the game itself it looks very colorful i also can't lie the weapons that they do come up with were really cool too the weapons are creative, you could upgrade them while you're playing the characters. This game does go up to four players and when it comes to playing with other people in this game, I actually do have a lot of fun playing it because at least when I'm playing with other people, you know you're with that other person, you're working together to shoot off this army and for a game like this, it's more fun to play with other people than by yourself, which I'll get to that in a a little bit. The other good thing are definitely the voices. The voice actors from the show always do a very great job. Tom Kenny, Bill Fadgerback, Roger Bumpass, Clancy Brown, Carolyn Lawrence, Mr. Lawrence who voices Plankton. They all do very good. And you just heard me say Clancy Brown because this is the first Spongebob video game Clancy Brown as Mr. Krabs is actually voicing in. It's cool to finally hear him in a Spongebob video game. Too bad it had to be in a piss poor Spongebob video game. And the final positive I actually have for this game is that they brought back the music from the show. Spongebob has some of the best background music I've ever heard in a cartoon, if not the best background music I've heard in a cartoon, period. And it's just a joy to listen to that music here in this video game. Now, let's get to my negatives. The first one I gotta say is, the gameplay is a fucking joke. Now let's get to the part where it's one player. Okay, when I'm playing with other people, fine. It's a lot of fun because you're playing with others, you're teaming together to shoot off the other robots. But when I am playing one player, it is so boring. I am, I was so bored. Playing one player, I can't even make it through 20 minutes into this game playing one player. So I actually had to ask my bro and a couple of my friends to actually play along with me to help me get through this game. That's how desperate I was and luckily the fun improved when I was playing with other people. Shooting robots, shooting robots, ooh we're falling down, we're falling down. Taking down robotic plankton, more shooting, more shooting, falling down, oh look another one. Shooting, shooting, falling down, oh look, we're already done with the game. That's it. It's repetitive. It's the same fucking thing. I thought Atlantis Square Pantas was repetitive with its levels, but no, no, not until I played this game. Another thing, of course, is that the game was too short. 
If you guys were saying that Truth or Square was too short, or Creature from the Krusty Krab, or Atlantis Square Pantis were too short for games, you're going to probably think that again once you play this game. Because this game is like, wow, really short. And even though Truth or Square, I'll buy it, was a pretty short game, at least it knew how to have fun, have some sense of adventure and creativity into its levels. This game is just really just a shooting game. There's no other challenges. It's not challenging. It's very lackluster in its sense of adventure. And the other thing I gotta mention is that the storyline. Okay. What's the storyline? The gang has to find three keys before Plankton does to get the formula. But this video game lacks a real storyline. There's no storyline to get interesting. Yes, you have the cutscenes, but it doesn't really elevate. I chuckled a couple of times with what Patrick said, but other than that, I didn't give a damn about the cutscene. And then just when the game couldn't get any more pathetic, once I reach to the finale of the game, Guess what? Mr. Krabs had the formula the whole time. The whole time. What was the whole point of this game? This game was obviously a fucking cash grab. The creators are like, you know what? Let's rip off the storyline of the Battle for Bikini Bottom, the best SpongeBob game I've ever played, a SpongeBob game way better than this fucking piece of shit, and a SpongeBob game that actually gave a damn about us fans. That gave us something what we wanted and it handled that storyline with the robots much better than playing Central Robotic Revenge because, like I said, this game lacks a fucking storyline. It is too damn short. It's very boring. I could only recommend it to play with friends because it's a four-player game and at least when you're all playing together, you're teaming up to fight all these robots together. But if it's just you by yourself shooting all these robots, it's no fun. It lacks it lacks fun, it lacks substance, it lacks a plot, it lacks what a Spongebob video game should be. I could play the Sly Cooper franchise again. I could play the Ratchet franchise again. I can play Mortal Kombat again. I can even play the NBA games. These games I mentioned are worth playing over and over again than this piece of crap. And including the SpongeBob games, I'd rather play the Battle for Bikini Bottom again, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game again, Lights, Camera, Pans, hell, even Creature from the Krusty Krab. Plankton's Robotic Revenge, you get a fucking 3.8 out of 10. You are a huge disappointment. It was very forgettable, and it was definitely a waste of my time. Comment below and let me know what did you think of the video game Plankton's Robotic Revenge. I would really love to know from you guys. Thanks for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!